Today we're checking out three brand new Sony lenses, the G lenses. We've got them all here, we've got the 50mm f2.5, the 40mm f2.5, which is what we're filming on right now, and the 24mm f2.8. I've been pairing them with the a7C, which is kind of a perfect pairing, as you can see, because of the size of these lenses. We're gonna come back onto that in a moment. Obviously these are individual lenses, so we're gonna talk about them individually, but we are gonna look at them kind of as a, as a trio of prime lenses. And the reason for that is they are absolutely clearly designed with that in mind. You know, there's a lot of overlap between the, the feel, the look, the style of these lenses. And we're gonna talk about that. Now I've had these lenses for about 24 hours. So I've basically spent all my time trying to take as many photos and video and try them in different situations, portrait, landscape, all kinds of stuff to really kind of test these out as much as possible. And obviously a big part of what makes these interesting is their size, the weight, which is super light, and also the affordability as well, which is which is something we'll come on to a little bit later. But let's start off by talking about image quality. Now, of course, 50 mil, great for portraits. F2.5, not the fastest out there, but it, it strikes a balance between being, it's still pretty fast, F2.5. You're still gonna get a nice amount of light in there. You're still gonna get good bokeh as well. It's not F1.8, it's not F1.4, but it, it's really not bad at all and considering the size of these lenses the weight and the price i think it's actually it's actually pretty decent the actual image quality itself is fantastic though it's very sharp you know great colors sharp edge to edge as well not just in the middle you know we've got good image quality right across the whole frame whether you're doing portrait landscape whatever you're doing 50 mil is obviously a good all-rounder that then goes on to the 40 mil as well which of course like i said before we're filming on right now 40 mil probably Probably my favorite focal length as an all-rounder. I think you can get some great portraits with a 40 mil, you know, with a little bit of the environment as well. Video, fantastic. I love shooting video at 40 mil. And of course you've got things like landscape and then street photography, which these would be perfect for. All kinds of stuff because 40 mil is such a, a, a good, universal all-rounder focal length. Again, that's f2.5, so not the fastest out there, but also still pretty, pretty decent in terms of that aperture. And again, image quality, much like the 50 mil, and this is obviously on purpose, fantastic. Sharp edge to edge, whether you're shooting wide open, whether you're stopping down, whatever you're shooting, really, really good looking. And then of course you've got the 24 mil, well that's the 50 mil. You see how easy they are to mix up because of their size. They're all about the same size and weight as well. Then we've got the 24 mil, which is f2.8. Now that's fine, I think. I don't think it really needs to be any faster than that. The only thing you'd get with a, with a faster 24 mil is obviously more light to come in for, for low light. But these cameras are so good with higher ISO values anyway that it really doesn't matter. Lovely lens again, can't fault it. Same sort of thing, image quality, edge to edge sharpness. Really, really nice. Now that's obviously deliberate. All these lenses have pretty much the same kind of image quality, which is very, very good. You'd expect that from a G lens anyway. But when you look at these as a trio, you've got a great portrait lens, a great all-rounder, and then a great wide-angle lens. You've really got a huge amount of versatility between the three. And because they're all this size, you know, and this weight, super easy for things like travel, street photography, everyday stuff. You know, you could absolutely have these in a small bag with a camera like the a7C or the a7 III, which I've been shooting on with them as well. I'm actually shooting on that right now. And you'd have no issue, you know, wherever you want to go. You don't even need really to have a dedicated camera bag. You could just pop these in a bag, you know, or just the 40 mil in a bag with your camera, done. Super, super easy. That's something that I think is really, really good about these lenses. I think they're gonna be perfect for people who wanna travel with, with lenses, but they don't wanna have, you know, massive primes or zoom lenses or whatever. I think these are gonna be fantastic for that kind of thing. Now the lenses, like I said before, they're small, they're lightweight, but they still feel well made. They still feel good quality. They're a metal design, and you can feel that when you're, when you're actually holding them and, and playing around with them. They have an aperture ring on the lenses. All of them do. So again, it's the same sort of design across all three lenses here. So we've got an aperture ring actually on the lenses, which I think is really, really nice. I always think that's a, a nice quality thing to have on a lens. We've got a click on and off on the lenses. Always love that. AF, MF switch as well, which you know you'd expect. And then of course, the focus hold button as well. So otherwise they're, they're pretty sleek. You know, there's not too much going on there, but I like it. I like the feel of them. I like the design. And even though they are light, they're very light, they feel good. 
You know, they feel well made. They're all the same filter size as well, which I think is important to point out because it means that if you have uh, a neutral density filter or a polarizing filter or whatever you might have, they're gonna fit all the lenses. That's super handy. That's one filter for three lenses. So really, again, these are designed as a, as a trio, a trio of primes to give you good, great image quality, small, lightweight form factor, and again, ease of use with the filters and things like that. Let's talk about autofocus for a second, because that was something that I was not concerned about at all, actually, because, you know, Sony, the autofocus is, it just is very good. There's no getting around it. It just is very good. But I was concerned that maybe because they're so small, maybe it's not gonna be as fast or something like that, but it, it is, it's very quick. It's very quick autofocus. The eye autofocus works perfectly, as you'd expect at this point. I, I, you know, I say that in every video about Sony lenses, but it's always true. The Sony eye autofocus works perfectly. You know, I never had any hunting at all on any of the lenses, which was which was really nice. Face tracking as well, stuff like that. All works really, really well. There is a manual focus ring on the lenses, of course, right at the end of the lens. If I really had to be picky, I'd say that that's probably a bit small. I don't do manual focusing really very often, so it's not gonna affect me. It's obviously pretty small because the lens is small, so I don't think there's anything you could really do about that, but that's that's maybe worth mentioning. Otherwise, I've gotta say, it is it's pretty well weighted, actually. So, difficult to be negative about these. Now, we've talked about the weight, we've talked about the size. Something else which makes these pretty interesting is actually the price as well. Now, you can follow the link down in the description to check out the full spec and price and all that kind of stuff, but I've got to say, they're a lot more affordable than, you know, a lot of lenses that you could get for this kind of image quality, for this kind of performance that you can get from this lens. The price is very reasonable, and actually, you could get all three of these lenses for the price of one G Master lens. And that's a pretty big deal because then you've got wide angle prime, all rounder prime, you know, and then kind of a portrait, 50 mil still kind of an all rounder, but you know, you've got three prime lenses there with great image quality, really, really easy to take around and do whatever you want with. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. So price wise, these are really interesting because you know, you might look at this and think, you know, cause it did for me, it gave me the thought of a nifty 50, right? So the super cheap prime lens that pretty much everyone gets as their first prime lens, but they're not like that at all. The image quality is really good. The sharpness is great. The colors look fantastic. The autofocus is not slow. There's no hunting. It's very fast. It's very good. You know, these are really well-made G lenses that stand up against a lot of lenses out there. They just happen to be small and light and they just happen to be the same price if you bought all three as kind of one G Master lens, like I mentioned, which, you know, that's a that's a big deal because if, you, if you're someone who wants to take things traveling, you want to take things out and about, you want to, you know, be hiking around with a camera, three prime lenses that are gonna, that are gonna weigh and, and be kind of the size of one big G Master prime, for that kind of price, Kind of a no-brainer. Now, if you have any questions about any of these lenses at all, I've been trying my best to do as much with them as possible over the 24 hours that we've had them. So absolutely pop your questions down in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. ASAP, I'm kind of personally in love with these lenses. I think I think they're awesome. I think they, they're really, really good. And, you know, I could totally see myself having these as a set and just heading out with a camera and these three lenses. And you're gonna get most of the things you wanna be able to get. The one thing obviously you can't get is telephoto stuff. Fair enough, it's not even a negative. It's just, it's just real. You can't, you know, 50 mil is 50 mil. That's, that's not a negative, it's just how things are. But that's the one thing you couldn't get with these, I suppose. So if you wanna do that, you'd have to have a telephoto lens as well. But, <laughs> seems like almost a pointless thing to say, but I would, you know, I could certainly see myself going out with these lenses, uh, especially for video. Videographers, I think this is, this is big as well, because for handheld run and gun kind of shoots, this is gonna be really, really handy. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe because that helps us out, but it also means you get to see all kinds of cool stuff, tutorials, reviews, all the things. I will, of course, see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.